Hello everyone. Welcome back to CFT College. I'm Ashkan and uh, we are continuing our course on CFT Post, actually post-processing our CFT data in CFT Post. Uh, I'm sure that you are ready for this tutorial. Uh, in previous uh, tutorials of this course, we show you how you can import your results or your data into CFT Post, how you can generate some contour, ISO surface, ISO clips, you know, velocity vectors, streamlines. And in the last uh, session, uh, I taught you how you can use expressions. Now, in this session, uh, we are going to talk about how we can define new variables. As you know, we need expression uh, to define new variables. Uh, that's why I, uh, you know, talked about expressions in previous video. Before starting the video, uh, if you find these videos useful, uh, please share these videos with your uh, friends uh, and support us. Please uh, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our future videos and uh, please like these videos. Uh, if you have any uh, problem or questions regarding CFT post, TechPlot, uh, Fluent or related software, you know, CFT actually, uh, you can contact us. Uh, you can find the con contact info in the channel description or you can uh, comment. Uh, in the you can write your comment in the comment section. So let's get started and jump to the CFT post. You know this is the uh, two. This is a two-dimensional uh, uh, simulation of a flow passes passing the cylinder. Uh, I think it's a good uh, you know example for what I want to uh, teach you because most of the times we when we have a vortex shedding, uh, we want to show the uh, vortexes uh, using uh, vorticity contour. And uh, by default, the vorticity uh, is not uh, you know available in CFT post. Uh, you can uh, change the uh, Fluent setting uh, in a way that uh, vorticity uh, variable will be stored in the data file. But uh, if you didn't uh, do this, it's uh, don't you know don't panic and uh, it's not a big deal. You can define any variable uh, here using in CFT post using expressions. So. Uh, as you see, we don't have uh, vorticity here uh, in the available uh, variables. So we have to uh, generate, we have to create an expression for that and then convert that expression into a variable. So let's see uh, how we should do it. Um, let me delete uh, these expressions. Okay. Um, so uh, for the start, we have to create a new expression uh, named uh, vorticity x means expression. You know that uh, since this is a 2D simulation, we only have Z vorticity. And you know the definition of uh, Z vorticity. Uh, it's uh, du over dy mi uh, minus dv over dx. So uh, if you uh, want to define it, you should use variables. Uh, right click on this frame, go to variables, and uh, in the uh, bottom of the list, you will find other, click on other, and go to uh, derived 
variables, you can see here you have a velocity gradients. Uh, so as I told you, we need du, this is du over dy. So velocity u uh, over gradient y. Velocity u dot gradient y means du over dy. So I choose it. And I have to subtract it by minus once again. Now we have to go to the second tab here. Velocity v gradient x dv over dx. Now this is the uh, vorticity, z vorticity actually. By clicking on apply, uh, you will see that the variable, this parameter, has the unit of uh, per second. So it's uh, you can be sure that it's vorticity. Now you have to go to the variable tab and create a new variable. So right click on this tab and uh, click on new. You can specify a name, vorticity. Vorticity. Click on OK. Here uh, is the detail. Uh, you can find the details uh, of the new variable. You can uh, change the method, but we usually use expression because we generate we already generated the expression for vorticity. Uh, you have to uh, specify whether uh, the new variable is a scalar or vector. Uh, here we know that uh, what z vorticity is a scalar, or, and we you have to select the right expression, uh, which is this one vorticity x. Uh, if you click on apply, you will have a new uh, variable here under the user defined section. And now if you create a vector, oh sorry, a contour, you, you know here we have a 2D simulation, so you have to pick symmetry one as the location. And now here uh, under the variable tab, you will find the vorticity, it's here. Uh, let me increase the number of contours. And Let's see the uh, cylinder in a, you know, closer view. And uh, you should, uh, you know that you, in order to have a good representation of vorticity, you have to change the range of the control. So I change it to user specified and the minimum can be minus 100 and the maximum uh, can be 100. That's what we have. Now you can see uh, the uh, von Karman street vortex. Uh, you can see it behind the uh, cylinder. Uh, you can also um, change the color map, uh, for example, to Mm, divert cool to warm. Let's check it. Yeah, I think it's better. And you, uh, you can also modify the range if you want to have uh, to get the better a better representation. But uh, now you uh, saw that we can use expressions and variables to create new variables. And uh, for example, you can uh, create a dimensionless uh, uh, pressure, temperature, velocity. Uh, if you go to uh, variables tab, you can see different uh, available variables. Uh, for example, by uh, double clicking on each of them, you can see the units, the minimum, and the maximum. For example, for velocity, the maximum value is uh, 124.5. It's 125. 
So if you uh, want to see a contour of, uh, for example, the dimensionless velocity and you want to uh, make the velocity uh, dimensionless using the uh, maximum velocity as a reference velocity, you can simply create a, a expression, create an expression, uh, none, mm, the velocity uh you have to here uh since uh, we are not uh calcu calculate we don't want to calculate uh for example the uh, average value of any parameter we just want to create a new variable we don't need to use any uh you know pre any uh, function so uh just uh, like what i did for uh, to create you know vorticity here you just need to select the variable that you want for example here now uh, i want velocity and you can divide this by the uh, value that you want, for example, 125, and don't forget to specify the units dimension, which is meter per second. If you wanna uh, write down uh, you know, meter per second, you should write it like this, meter times second uh, to the power minus one. This is how uh, you should, uh, you know, write down meter per second. Uh, click, just click on apply. Now you have new expression and you know how to create, how you should create a new variable. And non dimensional velocity. Uh, the method should be expression, uh, it's a uh, scalar. You can do it for uh, X and uh, Y and Z velocities. But uh, now so I can, I, you, I just do it for the velocity. I pick the non velocity expression and click on apply. And now if you, you see here uh, under the contour tab or you know that you have two ways uh, to generate a contour. Uh, you have non-dimensional velocity here. And if you see the contour, let me deselect the contour. The, va uh, the value is between zero and 0 0.996. It's, uh, it's uh, around one. This is the non-dimensional velocity. So, this is a good way to define dimensionless variables. You should use expressions and uh, variables together. Mm, what else uh, I can tell? I think uh, there is not, there is no mm, important uh, thing. Just uh, you can change the uh, unit of the variables. For example, if you want to see pressure uh, in kilopascal, uh, instead of pascal, you can change the units, uh, unit of any variable here. Uh, you can see there are lots of uh, units for each variable and you have to choose one. The default uh, unit for the pressure is Pascal. The default uh, unit for velocity is meter per second. But you can change uh, the unit if you want. Uh, okay, I think it's uh, that's enough for this session. Uh, you can contact us using these uh, contact info. Uh, please subscribe the channel, uh, like the video, and comment. And put your comment. Uh, please share this video with your friends and uh, thank you for watching the video uh, and that's it uh, until the next video uh, take care of yourselves and thanks for watching bye bye